I am Adam, Prince of Eternia, defender of the secrets of Castle Greyskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous. Diamond ray of disappearance, possessing the power to instantly eradicate anything in its path. Whoa! No wonder the elders hid it away. They were fools not to use it, but I will. I'll dig it out, Trapjaw. I've got a kingdom to destroy. Went to a lot of trouble to find a machine that's broken, didn't you, Skeletor? What do you mean, broken? Broken. Two can play at this game. I think we've got a problem. Everybody down. Weather's a bit nippy, isn't it? Gotta hand it to Skeletor. 
things go wrong, he still gets away. Takes a certain kind of talent. <laughs> oh, yeah! He might even be an okay guy if he wasn't so evil. Ramman, you just gave me an idea. Uh, I did? Your plan is a bold one, Man-at-Arms. Can you help us make it work? This vessel contains waters from the magical Lake Vortex, which appears on this plane of existence but once every thousand years. This is the only remaining liquid from the lake. It will do what you propose. The challenge will be to attach it to Skeletor. I think I have a way. And this is the thing that's going to put Skeletor out of business, Father? I hope so, yes. I get it. We make Skeletor wear the belt. He's too embarrassed to be seen outside. We win! <laughs> Great idea! Uh, no, Orko, that's not how it works. And Adam knows it. The mystical liquid will act as a sponge. Every time Skeletor performs an evil act, or even thinks about doing so, he will be weakened. The only thing left to do is bring Skeletor out in the open. That's where we come in, Your Highness. you finished off He-Man and the Masters, do you? Of course not. But it should take them weeks to dig out of that icy tomb. And by then I... Ah, uh, bad news. Man-at-Arm's daughter and that wimpy prince are out and about. Weeks to dig out? This day is turning out better than I'd expected. Aren't we getting a little close to Snake Mountain? Ha <laughs> Don't worry, Tila. Skeletor is probably off licking his wounds. How wrong you are, Prince Adam! The only wound suffered will be yours. First rule of battle, never allow your enemy to gain high ground. Like you said. <laughs> what is this ridiculous? What are you wearing? Never mind this contraption! Destroy them! What's happening to me? It's working. Let's go. Eradicate them! Strike off! Use your... Ah! Sorry, Skeletor. I didn't quite get that. Use my what? Take me back. and remove this grotesque binding. Here, let me try. Are you a net tinkerer? I ought to go! Call the others. There must be a way to get this horrid thing off of- 
Gun belt removal coming up! Hurry, you metallurgical... Forces of nature, a tumult to bring. Annihilate this loathsome thing! You have all failed me, and for that you shall die! Hey, that didn't hurt at all. His power is dwindling to nothing! <laughs> Already done. A magic liquid powers the belt, which feeds on your evil thoughts and deeds and turns them against you. Are you saying that I can never scheme again? Never lay waste to a village or torture an enemy? Yep, sure sounds like it. No! I shall defeat this accursed contrivance. I shall triumph if it is the last thing I... Do? There's been no sign of Skeletor for days, Father. Looks like your belt did the trick. I wouldn't be too sure. Skeletor has a knack for surviving defeat. Ah, Evelyn! Do come in! Are you doing something different with your nails? The color is very becoming. Actually, I just blended some Tova berries with a touch of... Wait a minute! You're trying to fool the belt! You think that if you pretend to be nice, it won't weaken you. Uh, pretend? Who's pretending? I am nice, in thought and in deed. So if he gets mad, that thing hurts him? Exactly. He simply can't react, not even if we really, really annoy him. <laughs> Stop that! Oh no! Didn't say please. Please. You're gonna like this, Skeletor. What sort of a name abomination is that supposed to be? <laughs> what I mean is, another inspired invention, Triclops? That belt punishes you for being evil, right? So I've built a device that does the opposite. One that'll turn He-Man's good against him. Yes, excellent. He-Man will suffer agony that is beyond imagining. <laughs> kind of like that. A uh, He-Man, you're not. Actually, I... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, one of our patrols just got back from the mountains! The village of Felis Kedi is under attack! Sorry about the door.
He-Man, how fortunate that you're here. Happened to be in the area. Tell them what you told me, Carnivus. There was a great darkness. It came out of the clouds, and then they attacked. Who? A swarm of Arthros! Beastman's doing, no doubt. Good within you can never be drained from your being. Still in one piece. <sighs> so it would appear. Help! Someone! Help! He Man! Save me! Without the restraining device, you'll only bring more pain and misery into the world. You wouldn't. Just let me perish. I can't hold on much longer. You'll spend a lifetime in the Eternian dungeon for your... Mustn't make promises you can't keep, He Man! <laughs> we 
I'll get them! No! No. We've seen enough of Evil's face today. Let's stay where we can do the most good. Here, with the helpless and the injured. You missed dinner tonight, Adam. Something troubling you? Guess I'm angry with myself. Over falling for Skeletor's trick. You saved Skeletor because you could do nothing else. Because you have a good heart. <laughs> Hooray for me. Consider this. That device I made was, in the end, useless against Skeletor. He-Man's goodness will always be a more effective weapon than any I could ever devise. I guess. So, you enjoyed yourselves, hmm? Mocking me, laughing at me, funny. I don't see anyone laughing now. Forgive us, Skeletal. Have mercy. Mercy? Hmm? You didn't say please. Please? I think not. There's no force in the world more powerful than goodness. And when you practice kindness, it not only helps others, but it gives you a good feeling inside. Until next time. <laughs>